you, John. Thank you, Beth. Thank you, Betsy. Let's give it up to Betsy Bishop, to Jess yeah. Newman, and the Chamber team. Really, it's incredibly exciting. There's going to be 3,000 folks, we assume, that are going to pile through here to find ways to learn about growing jobs and economic opportunity in Vermont. So thanks to John and Vermont Business Magazine for all they're doing, to all of our sponsors, TD. Uh, listen, we got a lot to celebrate at this particular expo. And we got a lot to celebrate about both the leadership and the commitment of not only the Vermont Chamber, but all of the members of the Vermont Chamber that make this organization possible. It's more than coincidence that Vermont has, as of last Friday, the second lowest unemployment rate in America. It's because of all the entrepreneurs, all of the innovators that are at this conference and across our state, who are creating jobs every single day, and the partnership with the Chamber that allows us to make public policy choices that make sense. What do I mean? The Chamber partner we've made for the last four years to make sure that while we met Vermont's needs, we didn't raise already high enough income taxes, sales taxes, wounds and meals taxes on hardworking middle class Vermonters who are struggling to pay ends meet. They helped us ensure that we got the Vermont Enterprise Fund, which gives for the first time in any governor's history, gives us four and a half million dollars this year alone to help close the gap when we're trying to recruit new high paying jobs to Vermont or retain jobs that are here already that have the potential to continue to grow economic opportunity for Vermont. That's a big deal. The most dedicated, innovative, hardworking workforce that you'll find anywhere. That's why we're growing jobs, because of Vermont's extraordinary workforce. Three, two, three. We're launched. <laughs>